Ship of Lagos started heading in wrong direction since Tinubu took over, but they judge. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again, guys, for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name amen thank you once again guys yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country uh, chieftain of the people's democratic party and also former national chairman of pdp chief body judge has stated that um, ever since tinubu put his hand in lagos state that um, um, the ship of lagos started heading in a wrong direction we'll bring you all of the details shortly but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also click on the notification bell please press that bell until it turns gray god bless you my people yes we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details a former deputy national chairman of the people's democratic party chief body judge says the ship of lagos has been going in the wrong direction ever since the all progressive congress chieftain bola tinubu took over control of lagos state George spoke in an interview with Punch on Saturday in reaction to comments by Tinubu that the ship of Lagos was heading in the wrong direction within 2017 to 2018 before incumbent Governor Babajide Sanwonlu. Tinubu had made a comment on Friday during the inauguration of the 1.4 km long Agege Pen Cinema Bridge. The former Lagos governor between 1999 and 2007 had said, Sometime in 2017 to 2018, the ship of this state seemed to have headed in a wrong direction. History had it that we came together, an election came, and we chose a democratically elected government of the people, our people, and for the people. They say, who is Babajide Sanwonlu? We said, you will find out. Ever since Babajide became the captain of the ship of Lagos State, he has turned it around to the right direction of progress, development, and good leadership quality. However, speaking on Saturday, George said the ship of Lagos has been going in the wrong direction since Tinubu ascended the throne of Lagos State. Right from the days of Brigadier Johnson, Baba, Jackande, Mawa, and all those who have ruled Lagos, people still talk of their legacies. But the ship of Lagos started going in the wrong direction when Tinubu ascended the throne. I stand by all that I have said about him. I don't have any personal thing against him, but against his policies. His daughter is the Ialoja of Lagos. His son is the only one that has adverts all over the city, and his wife is the one representing Lagos Central in the Senate. Otoge, enough is enough. We met very encouraging things when we were growing up, but today, where are they? No scholarship for students, no help for the masses. I don't have anything against Tinubu, but his policies. If I were in Oshun State, I wouldn't have been concerned, but as a Lagosian, Tinubu is too important to be left alone, and that is why I'll continue speaking against his policies, the PDP chieftain added. This, uh, we know um, Bola Tinubu, over the weekend, he came out uh, with the unbelievable, you know, he lambasted uh, Ambode. We know um, all he stated. He stated uh, Kiyume Ambode, the former governor of Lagos State, who only did one term. Tinubu uh, um, stated that um, it was because um, Ambode wasn't uh, um, doing enough. He was not going to do well for Lagos State. That was why he did not allow him to do his second term, to run for his second term. But we all know the reasons behind that because himself and Ambode fell out. And this godfatherism thing that is in our country, Ambode was not ready to play that godfatherism and God's son uh, um, thing. That was how they fell out. And Tinubu looked for someone that he can control. That is someone who, if we're looking at Lagos State now, we're going to say someone who is in charge of Lagos State. Guys, please, let's be honest. Let's, let's speak the truth. Someone who is not in charge of Lagos State. Tinubu is the one who is still ruling by proxy. He's still in charge. Um, you can you can hear all the report that Bode Judge had just stated. And Bode Judge is a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party. He has stated that he doesn't have anything, any personal issue against Tinubu. But it's just that this man doesn't mean well for the country, even for the state. That as soon as Tinubu uh, uh, um, got involved, took over, 
the ship of Lagos State started um, moving in the wrong direction. And then um, this Tinubu was the one that accused Ambodi of not doing anything. We know uh, Nigerians reacted even after he made that um, shocking revelation that he personally did not allow Ambodi to return for second term. It's really unbelievable the politics they play. And uh, Bodhi Judge is stating that I'm not even scared, I'm not afraid of him. There are times that Bodhi Judge has, have come online on air to speak against Tinubu and have dared him that Tinubu, if you think I'm lying, come outside and and defend yourself. You know, regarding the billboard um, but they just talked about in Lagos State, if you need to um, erect any billboard, you need to go through Shei Tinubu. That's Tinubu's son is in charge. Tinubu's wife is the one representing Lagos Central in the Senate. Um, you know, even the daughter uh, who has been the alloger of all the markets in the state, collecting levies here and there. It was only recently that the courts for, uh, um, threw her out and asked her, never again to to mount that position to collect levies i don't know if they will obey the court because tinubu feels he owns lagos you know he refers to himself as the jagaban of lagos it's really very sad and there are many persons that will still see that um, tinubu means well for the society means well for the country uh, uh, but they judge is stating that uh, there are a lot of things that are no more in place when they were growing up in Lagos State. That a lot of things has gone under. There were loads of scholarships. There were a lot of things um, there to help the masses. But where are those things today? Those things are not there anymore. And um, people will still be hailing Tinubu, and they are still they, they, they are the ones saying that um, Tinubu will become president come 2023. Nigerians know the scorecard of this Tinubu. The two terms he served as um, Lagos State Governor, what did he do for the state? The two terms he served. So it's really, really shocking and surprising that uh, persons will see what is going on in Lagos State now and feel that um, Tinubu is helping the state. Tinubu is not helping the state. He's only helping his personal interest and his personal ambition. Imagine the Ambode uh, um, case. He's not even ashamed to, to admit that he was the one. Personally, you can see the kind of weight he controls in that place. He's not the governor, but he's the one that calls the shot. Whatever he tells San Wanlu to do, that's what San Wanlu does. It's quite a shame. Anyway, Ambode has stated that um, he's not afraid He's not afraid to say all of this. He said it on national TV that the moment Tinubu took over the, 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 the affairs of Lagos State, that was when the ship of Lagos State started heading in the wrong direction. And to him, he still feels that the ship is in the wrong direction because Tinubu is still involved in the, the control of the state because he put his own boy there. Anyway, my people, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.